hello everyone in this video we are going to do the laboratory experiment on transformer coupled amplifier so the main objective of this experiment is to study and, the, and to calculate the response of transformer coupled amplifier as we have seen in RC coupled amplifier that the two stage of amplifier circuit are coupled to make a multi-stage amplifier so there the high output impedance of one stage comes in parallel with the low input impedance of the next stage hence the effective load resistance is decreased so this problem can be overcome by a transformer coupled amplifier For taking the reference of RC couple amplifier, the link has been given in the description box of this video. So before going for the laboratory experiment, let us discuss about the construction, working principle, advantage, disadvantage and the applications of transformer coupled amplifier. So let's discuss about the transformer coupled amplifier. So here first we start with construction of transformer coupled amplifier. So here so from the circuit diagram we can see so the there are two stages of amplifier. So first stage of the amplifier we are giving an input signal which will be given through an capacitor that is C in which is called as coupling capacitor to the base amplifier output is connected with an coupling transformer. So this transformer is this uh, secondary part of the transformer coupling transformer is connected to the input of the second stage of the amplifier. Okay. So, so here what do we have? We have an coupling transformer that is T1 which will be used for connected with the output of the first stage to the input of the second stage then we have the collector load is replaced by a primary winding of the transformer so the secondary winding is connected between the potential divider and the base of the second stage potential divider means that the value of r1 and r2 makes a potential difference or the potential divider of second stage so so instead of we are using coupling capacitor as in rc couple we are using here the transformer that is coupling transformer so so here the potential divider network is uh, done through and resistance r1 and r2 and the resistor re together for the from the forms and transistor biasing and stabilizing the network okay now ce is what capacitor that is emitter capacitor so this is uh, used for bypassing the current okay now input capacitor that is c in c in is used for uh, for giving a coupling between the input signal to the base of the transistor and cc is the coupling capacitor which is used between the two stages but here we are using the transformer so we are use, calling as a transformer coupled now let's uh, let us see the operation of transformer coupled amplifier so here when an ac signal is applied to the input of the base of the first transistor then it gets amplified by the transistor and appear at the collector to which the primary of the transformer is connected so here it means what whenever we are giving a signal to the ba base of the transformer of the first stage so the automatically the ampli it see the, this signal input signal has been amplified and it will be appear in the collector of the first stage collector of the transistor of the first stage so here the output will be taken from through a coupling transformer and now the transformer which is used as a coupling device in the circuit has a property of impedance changing so that's why we are using this transformer coupling which means the low resistance of a stage can be reflected as a high load resistance to the previous stage hence the voltage at the primary is transferred according to the turn ratio 
of the secondary winding of the transformer. The transformer coupling provides good impedance matching between the stages of the amplifier. The, the transformer couple amplifier is generally used for power amplification. Now this is the frequency response of a transformer couple amplifier between we are taking the response between voltage gain and the frequency. Next here what happened see as per the uh, graph we can see at low frequency the reactance of the primary begins to fall resulting in decreasing the gain at higher frequency the capacitance between the turn off winding act as a bypass condenser to reduce the output voltage hence the gain will be increased so the amplification of audio signal will not be proportionate and some distortion will also get introduced which is called frequency distortion now there are some advantages of transformer couple so number one is excellent impedance matching is provided excellent impedance matching is provided so why because of you using of transformer next second one is gain achieved is high so we are gaining taking the high amount of gain we are getting in the output of secondary stage there will be no power losses in collector and base resistor and third fourth one is efficiency in operation now few disadvantages are also available for transformer couple amplifier number one is though the gain is higher it varies considerably with frequency so as, as we see, see in, in the graph so frequency is response is changing now second one is frequency distortion is higher Trans the third one is transformer tend to produce hum noises so hum noises is generates through internal circuit fourth one is the transformer are bulky and costly that is because of using transformer the size of the circuit will become bigger and the cost is also increased so the applications for transformer couple amplifier are number mostly used for impedance imp matching purpose the second one is used for power amplification third one is used for amplification application where power maximum power transfer is needed so now let's start the laboratory experiment so this experiment is for transformer couple amplifier so we have connected the power supply from the master unit to the experiment panel so this is the section for transformer couple amplifier which having an external power supply section so there we have connected from this section top board of the master unit so we have adjusted as per the requirement we have adjusted the voltage dc voltage up to 3 volt dc we are giving to the socket number 21 and the ground is connected to the socket number 22 so next part is we will going to give the input signal so as for the procedure we will having an observation table so based on that observation table we will first fix the input voltage so the input voltage will be 25 millivolt so we will set up the input voltage of 25 millivolt so see we have given the uh, 25 millivolt peak to peak and the frequency is 100 hertz so next we will be connecting the we will be connecting the output here so this is the output section so we are connected here so so the output will be 0 millivolt that is 0 voltage for this 100 hertz frequency we will keep the, we'll keep the uh, amplitude will be kept same means it will be fixed as in 25 millivolt just we will be changing the input frequency as 100 hertz then 500 hertz 1 kilohertz 1.5 hertz 2 kilohertz 2.5 kilohertz up to 15 kilohertz then we will as per the input the we will get the output voltage and then after that we will have to plot a graph between the input frequency and the output voltage so this is about the 
experiment on this transformer couple amplifier and we will have to plot the graph of this value.